Amon's forces arrived here before we did. The temple may already be under his control. Zeratul believed the other Zelnaga were here, and that they would stand with us against Amon. They could end the war. My people could be free once again. Then why have the Zelnaga not answered us? I am going into the Alnar Temple alone, Matriarch. I do not intend to risk any more lives. You risk your own life on the word of a traitor. He killed your mother, Vorazun. That is true. But he was never a traitor. I do not wish for death. Only to see Zeratul's visions fulfilled. You will return. That much, I believe. Adun Toridas, Hyrarch. Vorazun. I know not what I shall find below, but I know I must go alone. You are in command of the Spear of Adun now. Until you return, Artemis. I have come seeking the Zelnaga. call this place the Temple of Unification. The Zelnaga are somewhere within. So far all I've encountered are hybrid. I've been fighting them for days. Progress has been difficult. The prophecies foretell of two ascended races working together to seek out the halls of revelation within the temple. Only with both present will the shrines reveal the means to awaken the slumbering Zelnaga. I've never cared much for prophecy. And yet, despite our history, here we stand, together. Perhaps you should start. 
A bold plan. Let us make for the shrine. It seems the temple has guardians. I will deal with them. Halt! Do you sense that? A great power awakens within this construct. Purity of form. Purity of essence. Prove your strength. Stay close to me, Karen. My psionic abilities can mend our wounds. Make it quick. Strength in unity. So the constructs hold the keys. Good to know. Let us proceed. A bold plan. These devices emit solar energy. We should gather them. Our knowledge is your heritage. The future is ours. Look out! Hybrid! Speak. Make it quick. Experiment. Yes. Together. What is it already? Strength. You have mine. We shall prevail. Another construct. We'll have to destroy it to open the doorway. Make it quick. So the constructs hold the keys. Good to know. Let us proceed. Honor, I lead. These devices emit solar energy. We should gather them. Our knowledge is your heritage. Look out! Hybrid! You have my attention. Another construct. We'll have to destroy it to open the doorway. Boldly. I what is it? Oh, yes. The future is ours. A key is still missing. There is a powerful energy across this chasm. Kerrigan, remain here. I must investigate this. A bold plan. Kerrigan, the construct is coming for you. Make it quick. We shall explain. Your queen is missing. Our destiny awaits. Barak and Vyash. I am. Speak. We shall prevail. Strength. What is it? Oh. Our destiny awaits. Dawn will come. I serve my people. The future is ours. Harak and Vyash. Our path is clear. Together, we are strong. A bold plan. There can be no doubt. With honor, I lead. Our path is clear. 
Your queen listens. The change is upon us. A bold plan. There can be no doubt. Together, we are strong. The future is ours. With honor, I serve my people. Fate is with us. The shrine still functions. shortly. Friends of yours? Not quite. It appears Amon's forces have found a way into the temple. We must slay them all. I think I'm starting to like you, Artanis. Assemble the keystone and find our way here. Amon indwells my people, possessing them through the Kala. But he has no physical form. If he were separated from the Templar, he could be forced back into the void. Come on, Artanis. We've still got a long way to go. Strength in unity. A bold plan. There can be no doubt. It seems you were correct. Well then, shall we? What is it already? I am your queen. Speak. 
I've come this far. Strength in unity. The future is ours. With honor, I lead. Our path is clear. Together, we are strong. We shall prevail. Make it quick. Dawn will come. What fools you are to attack me! Your queen listens. Our destiny. Arak and Vyash. Together, we are strong. With honor, I lead. There can be no doubt. This passage has caved in as well. Wait. Hybrid. Explain. Make it quick. Change is upon us. A bold plan. Honor shall serve as your tomb. The future is ours. You have my attention. We shall prevail. With honor, I lead. There can be no doubt. Our heritage is your future. Our path is clear. There can be they're fighting another construct. Your queen. The future change is upon us. A bold plan. Our path is clear. With you have my attention. I need our destiny awaits. The Tal'Darim are breaching into the Hall of Revelation. Ready your blades, Templar. Explain What is it? Oh. Your queen. Make it quick. Explain. Looks like we've earned a breather. You're up, Artanis. There can be no doubt. The shrines look like they're covered with pictograms. How do you know what they say? Communing with the shrine is more than reading carvings. Each atom of the stone has been placed with meaning. Purpose. It was here, from Alnar, that the Zelnaga began to seed the universe with life. They created us, just as they gave life to a numberless assembly of races in other universes. Every time, they observe and identify the potential of their offspring, never interfering. The infinite cycle will always be the same. Two races are destined to emerge. One pure of essence, an indomitable spirit capable of great change. And one pure of form, a being capable of vast psionic potential 
able to house the essence of a Zell Naga. Purity of essence and form, the Zerg and the Protoss. But if the Zell Naga do not interfere, then it was Awan who uplifted my people. All we thought was the Zell Naga was a lie. Come on, Artanis. We're not far from having some answers. I believe this must be the final hall. Wait. The doors are open. The constructs destroyed. The shrine is under attack! This can only be the work of Avon. We delay no longer. Our salvation will not be stolen from us. Change is upon us. With honor, I lead. Let's get to that shrine. There can be no doubt. Yes. Your queen, listen. What? I my you have my seat. A bold plan. The Dark God has a single death here. We shall deliver you to it. There can be no doubt. With honor, I lead. Your queen. Speak. I serve my people. A bold plan. What is it, Oli? Fire! Fire! We shall be reborn! These people are maniacs. We are strong. Yes? Your queen listens. Change is upon us. With honor, I lead. Bash them until the infinite abyss! Dawn will come. Our path is clear. Civilizations grew, fell, and formed again. 
They will awaken when the two destined races arrive. Then, the elders among them will give their lives to bestow their essence. And pure of form and pure of essence will be reborn as Zelnaga, shepherds of the infinite cycle. Matriarch, there is a massive output of void energy spiking from the temple below. Target the epicenter.
I do not come as your enemy, Dark Templar. You must listen to me, Matriarch. Amon's trap is sprung. Your leader is in grave danger. You think us fools? Yes, but that is irrelevant. What is relevant is that Amon has opened the gateway to the void. Dark energy is poor from within, and they will burn through your precious leader and any who oppose Amon. I can guide you to Artanas before this fate befalls him. If we are bold, we can stop the Dark God's assault. Am I to believe that the moment you're released, your blade will not be in my back? You waste time. Lower your blades. I am Alarak, first descendant of the Taldarim. Amon has betrayed my people. Retribution will be claimed for this, and if your hierarch survives, he will aid in it. Make your decision. You will take us to Artanis. Most wise. I have brought an additional defensive ability online, Matriarch. Please visit the Solar Core to configure it. We haven't much time. If you heed my words, your Hierarch will live. Rohana. Rohana! You sought a and now you have found it. The cradle of life. Both your beginning and your end. Release her, Amon. Do you seek deliverance within these empty halls? You will find none here. Only the truth of the Zelnaga's failure. Let her Go! I offer a gift. Release in oblivion. Silence! <laughs> this Taldarim has brought warriors with him. Perhaps there is a benefit to his presence after all. These purifiers have joined our army, Hierarch. It seems they are willing to serve you. For now. Where shall we march? Matriarch, the Keystone has begun absorbing void energies at an unprecedented rate. Then this Taldarim speaks the truth. Void energies flood from the temple. With each passing moment, the threat grows. I do not trust him, but all data points to the scenario he describes. A gateway to the void has been opened. Is there any way to pinpoint Artanis? No. 
The energies are making us virtually blind. We must put our faith in this Taldarim. It pains me to do so. I do not trust Alarak. His sense of honor is... lacking. is apparently unaware of the danger closing in around him. If you desire his safe return, you will send your warriors to these coordinates now. This path will lead your forces to Artanis. I have done as I promised, Dark Templar. Now go tell your Hierarch. I am waiting for him. Matriarch, our High Templar have volunteered to aid you. The loss of the Kala was not easily borne. But we are ready to serve once again. Templar, I thank you for your bravery in this dire time. We will recover our Hierarch. Our power shall serve. Antaro Tassadar. Unleash psionic storms, brothers. Let these hybrid thralls feel the wrath of the Templar. My charge. Focus their energies into a feedback loop. They will not bear it. Wisdom through it, we shall endure. Olak Natal. Your allies are in battle. You mean my swarm? Templar, join us! Vorazun, your forces have arrived just in time. Amon has opened a portal to the void. It must be shut down before it tears us apart. Agreed. My swarm and I will bear the brunt of Amon's power and buy you time. But it's up to you to seal that portal. The gateway draws power from these void crystals. We will need to destroy them if we are to seal the gate. Then it shall be done. The darkness is approaching my hive cluster, Artanis. I hope you're getting ready to disable those crystals. I'll continue sending as many Zerg as I can spare to help you. Fight well, Templar. Thank you. 
Detecting several energy sources hidden across the temple. They appear to be Zell Naga vessels, ancient power sources. If we can locate them, I should be able to use their energy to free up additional solarite from the Spear of Adun's core. Engage Amon's forces. Artanis, now's a good time to make your move. We continue on. We embrace the glory of battle. We are focused on the Crystal's defenders have fallen. Move in and destroy it. Yeah. 
secure. Destroy it as soon as possible. You have not enough minerals. Two crystals destroyed. I suspect Amon's forces will not let us take the next two so easily. Hybrid are moving to attack our nexus point. Ready our defenses. As ever, I serve. Wisdom through adversity. We are focused once more. My forces and I move against a crystal. Thought I might extend an invite your way. Artanis, hurry up and disable those void crystals. My hive cluster is taking a beating. your way to the next crystal. The Templar will finish up here. destroy the final crystal, and do so with haste. Hybrid inbound on our nexus point. Warriors, intercept them! Comply. Our power shall serve. Enough, my swarm. Pull back. We'll regenerate at the hive cluster. What? I return to serve. Shadows, I come. I have returned. We are focused once more. Our spirit is indomitable. Transfer. Unbelievable. Despite eons of inactivity, these devices are still at full power. Unity through purpose. The darkness will be. Antaro Tassadar. Wisdom through it. I'm sending my army your way, Artanis. They'll help clear a path to the crystals. Unity through purpose. I serve As ever, I serve. Our spirit. My life for iron. And Taro. I heed the call. Focus on the Void Crystals, Artanis. The enemy bases can wait until we're good and ready.
survive much longer. Disable the crystals now! The second Zelnaga power source has been secured. I only detect one energy signal left. Artanis, we've taken out the Crystal's defenders. It's up to you now. Is the last of the vessels, Karax. Understood. I am transferring the final power source now. Stay, Kerrigan. Join us. Together, we can defeat Amon and send him back into the void. My swarm was broken here, Artanis. I'll need time to rebuild my forces. There is no time. My people are being consumed. Their very flesh turned into Amon's own. I cannot wait. Then you must do as I have. Gather allies, subjugate enemies, do whatever you can. To ensure victory, survival is never pretty. We are very different leaders, but I thank you nonetheless. Until we meet again. Artemis. Hierarch of the Twilight Council, Warlord of the Templar. I had expected so much more. Arrogance! 
Watch your words, or my blade will watch them for you. Oh, that's hardly a way to speak of one who saved your master's life. You care little for my survival, Alarak. What is the true reason you've come to me? Our god broke his ancient covenant and cast us low. These are lies, Artanis. I am the liar? Are you not but a lie incarnate machine? Prototh. Speak your peace, Alarak. The Talgarim's death fleet amasses its slain, awaiting the start of a full-scale invasion. I come with an offer. You will aid me in invoking a challenge for the right to rule my kind as High Lord. And in return, I will grant you a cessation of hostilities between our people. Phoenix. Rally my advisors. It appears we have much to discuss. Ah, Artanis. I believe I will serve you more effectively from here. Besides, I would rather Alarak remain where he can be watched. Nothing was as it seemed. We came to Ulmar to awaken the Zelnaga and receive their aid. Instead, Amon nearly killed us. I fear Zeratul's prophecy is no longer clear to me. He was closer to the truth than I thought. The Zelnaga did rest here. Had they lived, I think they would have given us their aid, just as Zeratul said. If nothing else, I will grant him that. Matriarch, your words surprise me. Perhaps your counsel has proved influential in some regards. Then I will endeavor to give you more of it. I said some regards, Hierarch. Not all. Rohana, do you not see why you must sever your nerve cords? I cannot allow you to fall under Amon's sway again. The Kala was created in our darkest moment. Only its light was able to bind our people to give us unity. We are born into it. And when we die, our spirits become one with it. It is worth fighting for. And now Amon uses it against us. It sustains his existence. Its time must end. Artanis, through the Kala, our every thought and emotion are made as one. I feel his thoughts and emotions swirling like a vortex throughout. He does not realize it. But here, within the Kala, he is vulnerable. How? Just as he can see into me, I can see into him. We can use this to our advantage, Hierarch. I know it. It is not worth it. Please, I only ask for time. Powerful psionic warriors have joined our ranks, Hierarch. You must choose among them. Cassar de Templari. Alarak's vanguards have joined our cause. It seems our surprises have no end. Order me to war. I return to serve. I believe I have found a way to save our people. As Zeratul foresaw, this keystone can indeed be our salvation. Explain yourself. As we have seen, the keystone was designed to be found and assembled by those who would ascend to become Zelnaga. After leading them to Ulnar, it would also expel its stored energy to awaken the slumbering Zelnaga. The Keystone siphons energies and redistributes essence, matter, information, consciousness. To this device, they are all the same. I see that now. This is how it cleansed Kerrigan? It extracted the essence that forged her into the Queen of Blades. Then it used that energy to release Amon from the Void. If I can discover how to control the Keystone, 
We could use it to extract Amon from the Kala and save our people. Then Zeratul has led us to hope after all. Continue your research, Karax. We have a war to take to Amon. You were right all along, Hierarch. I am little more than a clone of your friend, Phoenix. The Calgarim speaks truth. I am synthetic. A replication. A lie. What did you find in the Archive? My death. My rebirth as a Dragoon. And then, my death at the hands of this Queen of Blades. I am not Phoenix, yet I hold his memories as if they were my own. I must have time to consider this. You are a warrior, Phoenix. Whether you identify yourself as my old friend or not, know that I believe in you. And I believe you will help me destroy Amon's armies and save our people. Do not waver because of this knowledge. I will try, Hierarch. destroy you. If you have such faith in him, why are you here? Oh, I merely voice the inevitable. I know the true power of what you face. I said destroy you, not I. I have seen enough. His hubris will be his undoing. It is a flaw I also see in you. <laughs> I believe I like you, Hierarch. Your bravery is commendable. Join me then. Together, we can defeat him. I cannot tether my fate to yours. Hatred does not burn within you as it does in me. You do not see through the agony of knowing all you believed in is a lie, and that your only solace is found in the destruction of your betrayer. No. Amon corrupted my people, and now turns them into a hybrid abomination. My rage burns brighter than a thousand suns, and soon all will see my wrath unleashed! Then this is something I hope to witness. salvation within Ulnar. And yet, we indeed found hope. If we are to fight, we must raise an army. Phoenix and I believe that we can awaken the ancient purifiers and call upon their power. They may have been a forbidden weapon, but I have seen their potential in Phoenix and know that this time, they will not fail us. I have made a decision many of you will not agree with. During my time with Phoenix, 
I have seen that the Purifier program, under the right guidance, may be reborn. History has shown the Purifiers cannot be controlled, Artanis. They do not have to be. These personalities, like I, will have free will. We do not have enough Purifier matrices to create more like Phoenix. You cannot possibly be considering what I think you are. The original Purifiers are housed in orbit above the forest world of Endion, sealed within their warship, Cybros. I have seen through Phoenix that these warriors may be valuable to us. Perhaps the Conclave misunderstood them, treating them as simple robots and not proud Templar. It tried to control them. And they rebelled, attacking their creators. Would you not rebel against this slave master? I have heard your counsel, and I have chosen to go to Endion. We leave at once! Fire stasis grid is still intact. We'll have to destabilize it from the generator below. I'm detecting a massive Zerg infestation on the surface. They can't be Kerrigans. Amon's brood. This will not be easy. Scouts are tracking the movements of the Golden Armada. If they are anything like Phoenix, the Purifiers have potential. What you plan to do is awaken monsters, Artemis. They slaughtered every Templar on the base of Lentinum. They rose against their masters. Our people never treated them as Templar. Because they are robots, created to do the bidding of the Conclave. Is this what you think of Phoenix? A robot whose only purpose is to do your bidding? He certainly defies expectations. He is... more. Perhaps the original Purifier robots will be too. If nothing else, think of their benefit to the war effort. That is, if they choose to join us. I believe in Phoenix. I am willing to take the risk. Welcome, Hierarch. The Zerg posed quite a problem. Disrupting the stasis grid was never going to be easy, and it certainly will be less so with Amon's brood attacking us. We will hold them off long enough for your work, Karax. The scientists sealed away Cybros with a device called the Megalith. It is the key to disabling the station's stasis lock. Once the grid is down, we have to act swiftly and bring Cybros online or flee orbit. The might of the brood below is too great. Leave the defense to me. I know this will work, Hierarch. I know I can guide the Purifiers through the darkness that lies ahead. Help them accept what they are. I can convince them that they will not be treated as servants again. Then it appears as if you have found purpose, brother. Since awakening, I have been confused, directionless, uncertain of what I am, how I came to be. Now, things are clear once more. Fate has laid out a purpose only I can accomplish. It is exhilarating. Yes, you embark upon a task that even Phoenix could not achieve. Yet he would attempt it if he could. I have learned much from Phoenix's memories, and through them, I have come to know myself. I am Phoenix, but not. I am my own entity, and I take pride in this. on Indion must be disabled if we are to reactivate Cyrus. The time to begin is now, Hierarch.
Cyrus, the vault of the purifiers. It is fortunate that Avon's brood has been unable to penetrate its stasis grid. I now have access to Endion's records. Hmm. The stasis grid is sealed by complicated locking mechanisms. They can only be destabilized by a certain device. The Megalith. I'll begin recovering it now, so it may work on the locks. It will need protection. These forests already crawl with Zerg abominations. Then we shall clear them out. If I may, Hierarch, this facility once developed powerful weapons for the Empire. Ah, I have heard tale of the mighty Colossi, steam cliffs besieging enemies from afar. Let us see how they fare against the Zerg. The Zerg are coming from that cave. If we fire on the rock formation, it will seal the opening. Authorization in progress. The Megalith should be ready shortly, Hierarch. We will monitor its status and alert you when it is online. The Megalith systems will take a few moments to activate. It will be ready to move out soon. In the meantime, I've upgraded our robotics facilities to construct Colossi. You can warp them in whenever you wish, Hierarch. Finishing up shortly, we should ensure that we have enough forces to defend it. the spaces locks safely.
The megalith has reached the first stasis lock. It will be safe below the surface as it does its work. I have returned. I am detecting Zerg movement. Warriors, ensure none reach our nexus point. You have not enough minerals. You have not enough minerals. Our pylon is under attack. The megalith is almost done with this lock. I would advise you to make preparations for its next move. You have not enough minerals. You have not enough min Upgrade complete. I return to serve. Sensors show the first stasis lock has been disabled. The megalith is relocating to the next one. You have not enough minerals. Your allies are in battle. has arrived safely at the second stasis lock. It shall be brought down shortly. Interesting. I believe this facility used power cores of incredible size to provide energy for experiments. They should be hidden somewhere within these hills. If our warriors can destroy them, we can claim the solarite components within. It will move again soon. The first power core has been secured. Warping it aboard now. Warriors have engaged the enemy. Upgrade complete. Stasis lock disabled, and the grid is now at 60%. The megalith is en route to the third lock now. The canyon grows narrow ahead. Crawlers, they're rooting on the ridge. Brace for incoming fire.
require more Vespine. Your allies are in battle. Well done, warriors. The Megalith is disabling the third lock. I'll begin working on them immediately. This lock is almost destabilized. The Megalith will relocate shortly. is on the move. My readout shows Cybros beginning to awaken from stasis. Only two remain, Hierarch. I am detecting a large number of Zerg bioforms in the cave network ahead. We can use the terrain to our advantage. Topple the rock formations near the entrance and seal the Zerg within the caves. number of Zerg have been detected in the caves ahead. Exercise caution. Now disabling the fourth lock. There is an entire Zerg hive cluster between the Megalith and the last stasis lock. Our only option is to fight through it. Mark destabilization is nearly finished. The Megalith will disembark soon. The 
rock is down and the megalith is traveling. Stasis grid at 20%. Wait. I'm detecting activity in the Zerg hive nearby. They're reinforcing the last lock. is destabilizing and the grid is down we've done it cybros is free from stasis recall our forces from indian's surface we take this battle to cybros Personnel awaiting your review in the War Council hierarchy. I assume your plan is to bind these robotic warriors to your will. They will be allowed their freedom, much like Phoenix. Making slaves of them is what led to their revolt before. Oh, this foolish idealism taxes my patience. Idealism? They are the replications of our greatest champions. We seek to free your people from the lash, and yet you desire to enslave mine? I care not for freedom that softens a people. I will dethrone the lash and save my kind from oblivion. But they will not be free. They will serve me. Freedom is a delusion granted to the weak by the strong. You speak as Amon does. For the sake of your life, that will change. Instill the Phoenix Machine as the new executor of the Purifiers, and use them as the tools of destruction they were built to be. Why was Endion chosen as the world Cybros was to orbit? For thousands of years, it has been a research retreat. Here, Protoss scholars secluded themselves from political affairs to focus on the task of devising technology that would benefit the Empire. The Psi Matrix was first conceived here. When it was decided that the purifiers would be shut down, they became a symbol of achievement, but also the dangers of it. So they were brought to a research colony. Where better than a place where our greatest scientists resided, constantly improving Cybros' stasis field. And how many resided on the world below? 800,000 Kalai, a contingent of Templar. I only hope their deaths were swift. If you would listen to me just once. We have received a new robotic siege technology hierarch. Please make your selection. Thank <laughs> you. 
Your plan worked, Kerax. The stasis grid is down. We must act now. If we can bring Cybros online, the battle station should begin to defend itself. And the purifiers? They have lain dormant for millennia. They may still harbor anger towards us. If they turn on us, we will have to fight. We failed them before, not understanding what it was we had birthed. These personalities may be replications, but they are alive. After spending so much time with Phoenix, I share your belief. Cybros will not be able to resist the Zerg for long. We should move quickly if we hope to save the purifiers. I require your honest counsel, Phoenix. Do you believe the purifiers will join us? I do not know. They may harbor rage, resentment for the actions of our forebears. The Daylom is not the Conclave. We are united in purpose, like never before. And that is why the Purifiers must be allowed to choose their fate for themselves. Without freedom, a people can be controlled, but never united. This is true. And yet, the Firstborn have ill need of another enemy. And I believe in you to not create one. Your actions determine the future for both the Templar and the Purifiers. But now is the time to act, Hierarch. You are right. The way forward may be difficult, but it is necessary. Thank you, my friend. Artanis. New Taldarim robotics have been constructed based on Alarak's specifications. Let us hope his instructions were thorough. With the Stasis Grid down, the Zerg have begun infesting the surface of Cybros. We do not have long if we wish to save the Purifiers. Your Templar are ready, Hierarch. Give the word, and it shall be reclaimed. as tenacious as the Archives claim. Their infestation already spreads across the surface. And Amon's hybrid has begun fortifying the hives. We must hope for the aid of the Purifiers to win this battle. Indeed. According to the station's schematics, Cybros's power architecture is divided into four distinct quadrants. Each is sealed by three null circuits. Destroying all of the circuits in a quadrant should restore its power, activating at least some of the purifiers. We will need to keep a watchful eye upon the core matrix. If the Zerg destroy it, Cyros falls as well. locate the null circuits as soon as it is safe to do so, Hierarch. Artanis, there are unpowered cannons placed near the core matrix. With enough fortification, this would be a defensible position.
should head out and destroy the Null Circuits. The Purifiers will attack the Zerg and slow their attacks upon the core. Detecting a purifier awakening on its own. Wait, something is amiss. The AI has gone rogue. Its solarite memory lattice has grown irreversibly unstable. We should disable it. At least we can put its solarite to use. circuits. The 
the Zerg are attacking from the northeast. They're trying to break through our nexus point. the core matrix. Repel their assault.
The High Red are moving to strike the Core Matrix. We must tighten its defenses. circuit. Destroy it, and power should begin to flow again. Exponentially. It's working. The purifiers are activating. I, to serve. I am Executor Kolarian. I address the leader of the Firstborn. Executor Kolarian, your deeds are taught to all Templar, even to this day. Cease your adjuration. Why do you seek the purifiers? Brothers. You were created to protect the Empire, yet we did not treat you as you deserved, as true Templar. I implore you to forgive our ancestors' mistakes, to take up your ancient charge once more, and join us as equals. We will see if you speak truth. You will aid us in purifying this alien threat. Only then shall we discuss this further. Sentinels! 
Advance upon the alien stronghold. Purify the invaders. The enemy shall be face your opponents are under attack.
The Zerg hive here is heavily defended. We should reactivate the purifiers before we engage. I return to serve. We should attack this null circuit. Destroying it will help us awaken the purifiers. I return to serve. Station at half power. Engaging foe. The enemy closes. Purifiers! Our home is under assault by alien forces. Move out and eliminate them. I return to serve. is under attack.
I would advise against attacking this hive cluster with our forces, Hierarch. This is the Purifier's purpose, after all. We should attack this null circuit. Destroying it will help us awaken the Purifiers. circuits is located here. The third quadrant is coming online now. Cybros is at 75% power. Eliminate the alien bioforms with extreme prejudice. is under attack.
Unlocked. Cypros is awakening. Hierarch, Cypros has reached full power, and the purifiers are cleansing the station of the Zerg. Fight on, brothers. Slaughter them to the last. Wait. I've been disconnected from Cypros' systems. The core is activating. It's going to fire. Lumarian, what are you... Commencing purification. signs disappearing. The surface of Endion has been cleansed of life. It is over. Phoenix, contact the purifiers. I would speak to them. Executor Clolarian, you have awoken during the Firstborn's darkest hour. You have shown us that the purifiers are a mighty force that could turn the tide of this war. I ask you now to honor your sacred charge as Templar, and fight beside your brethren as you did before. You are no different than the Conclave. Once again, 
You try to control us. No. I wish to make amends for our past failures. I have fought battles alongside one of you. Phoenix, the one you are linked with. The Conclave feared your kind, but they are no more. I know you are true Templar. I have seen it. I ask that we stand as one, or none of us shall stand at all. I will counsel with the others. They are deliberating. If we are to follow, we would ask the Entity Phoenix to speak for us. There is much about this time we do not yet understand. But as long as you hold to your word, Hierarch, the Purifiers shall join the Firstborn. Hierarch, I have powered up a new ship subsystem. You can review it in the Solar Core now. This errand of yours has been a waste of our time. We should leave for Slain. The Purifiers will be a useful addition to our forces. I would hardly call this an errand. Yes, but as we already discussed, you chose to give them freedom, hoping that they will do as you command. Do not presume to lecture me about my decisions, Tal Darim. But I so enjoy our exchanges. Amon's presence within the Kala grows stronger. He is becoming harder to resist. You risk much for this, Rohana. He believes all suffering, all conflict, results from the Zelnaga's infinite cycle. That it must end. Yes, he has made this clear. But you see only the surface. Underneath, a silent hatred roils within him. A prideful resentment that would see all worlds burn. The hybrid are the true face of Amon. He wishes not only for the Zelnaga's creations to be set aside, but for them to suffer. These purifiers have joined our army, Hierarch. It seems they are willing to serve you. For it now. is a good day, Zutai. I answer the call. Skies await. I answer the call. It is a good day to die. The enemy shall be purified. We are the blades of iron. The Shadow Guard. The enemy shall be... I have been analyzing the Purifier bodies en masse. Their systems function more effectively when in proximity to each other. Outlying protocols can be offloaded to unoccupied cores. What does any of that mean, Carax? Their data web was designed to replicate the sense of the Kala. They are connected to each other. Interesting. Yes, however, it is a synthetic representation. There is no emotional wave. The engineers who built them could not imagine how they could ever be seen as Protoss without the light of the Kala. If only our ancestors could see us now. We have achieved an incredible feat, friend Phoenix. Phoenix, I have been thinking more upon that name. It is the moniker of another. I do not believe I should use it any longer. I am not he. Phoenix was the bravest warrior I have ever known. He faced terrible odds and emerged victorious. Slayed enemies the likes of which most cannot even comprehend. And yet, 
You have proven to be of equal bravery. He would have been honored that a warrior such as you bore his name. And so am I. Your words honor me, Hierarch. But one day, I must find my own path and my own name. have chosen to join the Daylom. But there is still the matter of the Tal'Darim. Siding with Alarak is indeed a risk. Tassadar, old friend, what would you do? Zeratul, would you have me take such a chance? The answer matters little. If this alliance can weaken Amon's armies, then it is a chance that must be taken. I intend to depose Malash, the ruler of an entire people, and bring them under my thrall. You will aid me, and in return, I will remove the Tal'Darim from this conflict. That was our bargain. To do this, the ritual must be carried out as tradition demands. This bargain grows less appealing by the moment. I wish to know more about this Rakshir, your ritual combat. To understand Rakshir, you must first understand the sacred chain of ascension that ultimately links to Amon. Each of us is shackled to his will, and to the will of he who is in the link above. And yet... 
yet. There is a way to ascend. By blade and blood. Any Taldarine can usurp the position of the one above his station. It is through this ritual that Amon's ascendants are assured to be the most capable to carry out his will. Then Malash is the most powerful of your people? He is considered so. But he has yet to face me. Our scouts are reporting that Dominion is attempting to fight back the Golden Armada. Despite their efforts, multiple systems have fallen. Whatever shall we do with this Alarak? He is quite unpleasant. There are things I understand about the Taldarim. Their zeal, their desire to appease their god. What I cannot understand is why Amon would cast aside his loyal allies so easily. Why he would betray their sacred trust and treat them as fodder. I have felt his grand ambitions, Artanis. The dark truth is, Amon wishes no allies aside from his hybrid. He believes he's ending the cycle of violence, but he only brings about an eternity of abomination. The Solar Core is functioning perfectly, Hierarch. I've been analyzing the Taldarim's war machines. Their technology is cloned from Kalai designs. Aside from the construction materials, there is little deviation. How is this feat possible? There have always been legends of vessels that set out into the cosmos and never returned. Of attack forces gone missing. I have heard these stories. Whispers of angry spirits of our past that strike when you are most vulnerable. Imagine if all this time we have been fighting an unknown war against the Taldarim. It would explain a great deal. How sad. They are thieves, never knowing the joys of their own invention. How despicable. In order to invoke the challenge of Rakshir, preparations must be completed, as the decrees of old describe. Ready your warriors. Malash will surely attempt to interfere. These are Malash's guardians. I need you to eliminate them before I proceed. If it must be done... Wait, what is that strange fog? Tarazine. It flows in cycles from the chasms of slain, bringing us closer to the void. Amon's forces will be able to manifest until the flow subsides. They do not possess their full power here, yet they will strike at your base ruthlessly. I thought you promised an assured victory, Alarak. You enjoy a challenge, do you not? Very well. My forces will pursue the Guardians while it is clear. When the Terrazine flows, we must endure the onslaught. Rise shortly, my warriors. Be vigilant. Void rays can now be warped in at our Stargate. They are ideal for intercepting foes in the battle ahead. Well done, Faye Smith. We will make good use of them. Zak Naku Afa. The enemy shall be purified. Identify our foe. Protocols aligned. You have not enough minerals. The veil between this world and the void is lifting. Amon's forces will arrive soon. Not enough minerals. My blade yearns, I 
stand ready. Speak your demand. The enemy shall be my divider. Crystals charged. with honor, even when we are fighting for you. But first, we must establish our defenses. able to scan the Taldarim motherships in this region. They are carrying shipments of Solarite. I don't think Alarak would mind if we liberated them. Gathers, Artanas. Make your preparations if you are so inclined. Upgrade complete. Zonk Prismatic Core online.
upgrade complete. From the shadows I come. You have not enough minerals. You have not enough minerals. You have not You have not enough minerals. Our pylon is under attack. ships are heading towards our nexus, Hyrock. Bring them down! You must construct additional pylons. I return to serve. It is this upgrade complete.
is, Artanis. Make your preparations if you are so inclined. remains. Enemy ships have set a course for our Nexus. I have Unacceptable command. We are at maximum supply.
we approach the void. Ready your warriors. to think of what they were planning to do with it. Depleted. Mineral field 
have set a course for our nexus.
I am going to make this clear. The Templar are not a weapon you can wield as you wish. We are not here to slay your enemies under false pretenses. Deceive me again, and this alliance of ours comes to an end. Slaying Malash's guardians fulfilled more than one purpose. Once the High Lord lies dead at my feet, none will challenge my rule. After all these years, my victory is nearly at hand. I feel his concern, Artemis. He knows that I'm coming for him. Malash? No. Amon. Through the breath of creation, I peer beyond the veil. Oh yes, I feel his rage washing over me. He knows I no longer fear him. He knows that the Talgarim have no color for him to control. I will turn the Chosen against him. Do not assume you are already victorious, Alarak. Do not let the Terrazine cloud your judgment. You have a battle to win first. The battle is already won. In my mind's eye, I have delivered the killing blow in a thousand ways. From my experience, overconfidence is your opponent's greatest ally. Do not let yours aid Malash. Spoken as one who welcomes defeat. A new faction has joined our forces in the War Council. Malash has proven himself to be a dangerous leader. Indeed. That's why my victory shall be the sweetest of ecstasy. Has he defeated many in this right? Countless. He ascended the chain with brutal wrath, plowing through all who opposed him. It's as if he were blessed by the Dark God. They called him the Blade of Amon. And still he was challenged? It is our way. He defeated each with lingering cruelty. Malash revels in bringing his challengers to the edge of death and tormenting them for a time after. That does not comfort me, Alarak. Comfort is a myth. Given to younglings until they are ready for the trials and pain that is true existence. Leave me. It is time to make preparations. The 
this chain of ascension is a despicable practice. It is how the Kalai once thought of the Nerezim's Shadow Walk. There is no comparison. Our society was not founded upon... Their culture is one unyielding hierarchy, servant to master, a constant reinforcement of their bondage to Amon. But they have been lied to, Matriarch. And how could this change if it is all they have ever known? Our people once only knew hatred of one another. Suspicion. Yes. We viewed your practices as barbaric, and you viewed ours as cruel. It is the same with the Tal'Darim. With the destruction of Amon and the revelation of his betrayal, I expect their entire society to seek out who they truly are and what they wish to be. Amon does not care for the lives of Kronos. <laughs> The assault ships are now ready for your inspection. Destruction is at hand! Paradakural. Destruction is at hand! Kerax, the Keystone, it's reacting. To avoid energies upon the planet's surface, most likely. I've seen this before on Ulnar. This Terezin must be directly linked to the Void. The Tal'Darim call it the Breath of Creation. They believe imbibing it allows them to speak directly to Amon. A far-fetched claim, yet I cannot deny its plausibility. The substance's properties appear to be foreign to our universe. Perhaps this is why it is so holy to them. They seek out planets rich in Terezin, and turn them into temples to their god. Our coming here may be a blessing to us. If the Keystone reacts to Terezin like it does with Void Energy, I may be able to use it to stress the artifact, determine its limits. Perhaps fate has not abandoned us completely. We must have faith. I prefer results, Hierarch. Amon is powerful in measures that eclipse even the Queen of Blades. There is no room for uncertainty. These Tal'Darim have strange customs. The Keystone is resonating to void energies below. We should investigate this further, Hierarch. <laughs> <laughs> 